Now, a couple weeks ago, we had boat races here on the beach and I shot a video for a local business down here and it was a blast. And today I wanna to use that as a reference as I share five things that you can do to start making your videos more professional. Number one is use the right equipment for the job at hand. Now, you're probably gonna come across videos where people talk about why they love going handheld for most of their shoots or pick any piece of equipment you could think of. There's probably a video online somewhere where somebody talks about how that's their go-to piece of equipment. But here's the thing, if you're gonna be a professional, that means understanding that different jobs call for different tools. And so in shooting this video, it forced me to do something I hadn't done in a while because I was probably relying a little bit too much on using my gimbal for my shoots. This video though required that I go back to using a tripod just based on the nature of everything that was happening and the fact that a lot of the footage I was gonna get was gonna be uh, panning tracking shots of the boats, of the helicopters, things like that. So that's number one, use the, the correct tools for the job at hand. Number two, try to visualize things in advance. Now, this was a live event and that meant I didn't really have control over what was going on. I couldn't yell cut, I couldn't get them to, to do another take. I had to react to things in real time, but I still knew what to expect going in which meant I could do a little planning. I could outline some of the shots that I wanted to try to capture. For instance, I knew I wanted to do a tracking shot where I locked onto one boat and then held with it for a little while before moving up the line. I also knew I wanted to do some tracking shots with helicopters. I knew I wanted to do some, some different zoom out shots because I was gonna be shooting from a rooftop. I knew I wanted to use some whip pans and I wanted to use the pillars of the pier as foreground elements in some of the tracking shots. So all of these things that are in the final video, part of the reason they're there is because I took the time to do some planning and visualize some of what I wanted to accomplish at the time of the shoot. So that's number two. Number three, learn to apply your compositional principles to moving shots. Now one of the things I talk about in my free beginner videography challenge that you can find on my website is that first you need to learn how to properly compose a shot just by setting the camera in place so it's a locked off camera once you know how to do that though you need to learn how to apply those same principles to moving shots that's really important the compositional principles don't just disappear once you start moving the camera whether you're doing a push in a pull out lots of panning shots like i was doing in this video you need to pay attention to your composition now we've still got two more tips to go, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now, moving on, number four, diversify your shots. Now in this shoot, I was up on the roof, I was down on the beach moving around. Not only was I changing position and angle, I was changing the type of shots. Some shots were panning shots, some were, were stationary shots where the camera was locked off and the action just moved across the frame. So. Give yourself a multitude of options to work with so that you can try different things when you sit down to put everything together in post-production. Number five, use audio to enhance the experience. This means finding appropriate music, which is something you can do either before or after the shoot. Sometimes I like to do it beforehand because you can use it as a guide. It can help you understand the energy that you're going for and you can use that at the time of the shoot to get the appropriate footage uh, that matches that energy. Uh, but you can also do it in post-production as well. But beyond music, sound design, sound effects, also something that you wanna consider before you even go into the shoot because are you going to be recording on-site audio? Are you gonna come back, record it after the fact? Are you gonna turn to sound libraries online to help find sound effects? Now in this video, I used different engine sounds of the boats, as well as sounds of the ocean to create a more immersive experience for the viewer. All right, there you go. There's five tips that I think if you follow will help you on your way towards becoming more professional as a filmmaker, as a videographer. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Take care.